Lake Erie was especially of note in a recent study out of Wales. Using satellite data, it compared rising water temperatures in lakes around the globe. What scientists found is that when extreme warming occurs, even more can happen beneath the surface. Lake Erie is particularly of interest to us because of the the, the increased occurrence of algal blooms in that lake. It's something Lake Erie has already been marred with and one of the things made worse by rising water temperatures, says climate scientist Yestin Woolway. He studied changing temps in the Great Lakes, including what's called lake heat waves. That's when the top 10% of historic water temperatures are exceeded for five days or more. Due mostly to rising air temps from greenhouse gases, lake heat waves are happening more often. Based on his data, depending on global warming, a worst case scenario means lake heat waves are 25 times more likely in the future if emissions aren't curbed. These heat waves will become progressively worse and in some cases we will actually transition to what we call a permanent heat wave state. And that means surges of algae bloom so intense by century's end, Woolway says some beaches won't be as enjoyable. Lisa Wozniak heads up the Michigan League of Conservation Voters. As the effects of climate change become more visible in our waterways, she says addressing crumbling infrastructure is vital. We met her at the Peninsular Dam in Ypsilanti. It no longer generates power and it's wreaking havoc on the ecosystem. When you have impoundments like we have right there, um, sediment can be really toxic. It's slated to come down, but there's no firm date yet. What do you see the changes being like to the fish life in the water? I think we'll see a vibrant fishery. I think people who fish this will be so happy because they'll be able to see um, fish that they haven't been able to fish with their kids and grandkids for years. She recently joined with other environmental activists to weigh in on the governor's My Healthy Climate Plan. This plan right now slates Michigan to be carbon neutral by 2050, and we're urging uh, it to be strengthened so that we're actually achieving 100% clean energy by 2035. A final draft is expected to be released around Earth Day. More and more people understand that this is not an esoteric issue. Next, we take a look at invasive species in Michigan's waterways and no surprise, climate change making the problem worse. What's being done at the state, local and federal levels to help? I'm Jen Schantz for 7 Action News. Thank you so much, Jen.